Hi everyone, this is Pause Poet Ria. I'm a Thai Pause Poet living in England. I used to be an active K-pop fan during second gen and generation 2.5. And I used to work as a show interview scriptwriter for a Thai cable music channel in which idol groups would appear for overseas promotions. I left the idol industry at the start of third gen and since then, I haven't kept up to date with K-pop at all. Now as a scholar at English universities, I give guest lectures on Asian narratives and fan culture productions. And today we'll be watching Tomorrow by Together, Lose a Lover music video. To my subscribers who have been waiting for this, sorry I went missing, I had my COVID vaccine shot and I was sick for a few days. So this was supposed to be filmed three days ago and that didn't happen. So I'm filming it now. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but I'm planning on releasing it, finishing editing it and releasing it before before the free fall come back. I have a question about that actually so stay towards the end if you know my subscribers uh, because I have some questions about Tomorrow by Together and about the Weverse app that I need answers to and I would appreciate it if you could help me figure out the internet. Thank you. To any new viewers, I've already listened to the song during Lollapalooza if you haven't seen my review to that please make sure to check it out after this and I've also listened to the studio versions because I'm currently writing my review my official review for Tomorrow by Together's Chaos Chapter both the freeze and the fight or escape yes, so I'm familiar with this song and the lyrics and if you're here to watch me idol worship that's not going to happen. There are many reactors who do that. If that's what you're looking for, for this channel, it's more a scholar channel. We'll be focusing on the lyrics, the storytelling, and theories. As in literary and critical theories, and finding intertextual links, and things like that. So this is less of a reaction channel, but this is more of um, an industry review channel where I learn about things that are happening in the current K-pop industry through Tomorrow by Together. So we'll be focusing a lot on the lyrics, the story, and figuring out what uh, what is going on and things like that. Just letting you know because there have been some people in the comments who have not been too nice. I understand that you don't aren't looking for the same things and that's fine. You can just leave quietly. You know, you don't need to mean comments. I don't think that's good for anyone and I don't think it's good for Tomorrow by Together fandoms either. Speaking as someone who used to be a fan of K-pop, the fandom would not have a good reputation. That is what I'm saying. It's bad for the reputation of the fandom and I wouldn't want that to happen with the MOA fandom because the majority of the MOAs that I've watched in a meeting, all of them are very very nice and very very intelligent and very smart, very funny and also very open-minded and you know we can have intellectual discussions together and that's what I appreciate the most. You know you can make a fair criticism or a fair argument and nobody gets offended because it comes from an intellectual standpoint, right? So let's see if my brain works when I'm sick from the side effects of COVID vaccination. Hopefully I'll be able to say something intelligent and we can have a fun discussion about what is happening with this MV. Just ignore the fact that I cried in my first Tomorrow by Together MV watching. <laughs> that was that was embarrassing. Is that Yeonjun? How did I know that it was Yeonjun? Wow, I can recognize his legs already. I haven't what the heck? Oh he's a lot oh oh, oh. Oh, the airbrush on his face is like very makes him looks very glowed. It looks like he's glowing. Oh, CG tow truck. Oh, smoky eyeshadow. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, we are the ATM. Hello. What? How much would you like to? This picture. Oh. Wow. Oh. I love the under eye makeup. Don't do that. Hachi maseyo. Oh, it's a YN self insert story line. Okay. That was a stunt double, right? Um, yep. Uh -huh. Oh, I like that when he goes up, they go down. 
오 와우 얼굴이 완전 비셔요 목소리도 오 이어링 이번이었어 진짜 오 캐피탈리즘 That's my favorite line since Lola Palooza of this song. Oh. Oh, oh, something bad's happening. Oh. Oh, did you see that? We need to watch that one more time because Kai acting that performance that was very effective. We'll talk about Pomgyu because Pomgyu's storyline is very upsetting to see. But let, let's just see this bit first where he did that. That was really good. Yeah, look, it was so good. Oh. Oh! We need, I need to see. We need to see Taeyeon's. It really fits the song. Like, Mishin did smile, right? Mishin did so sure. Do you see that? That was really cool. He has a very nice smile when he does that. It's very satirical. Doosan got up. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's an overlapping storyline. It's very similar, isn't it? Is it? Oh. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I need to, wow, what was the, Bongyu, that face that Yeonjun just made, it was, I, I was about, wow, that was, oh, oh, wow, <laughs> I just saw, some... oh, I didn't know that I paused at this part, oh, wow, oh, wow, it looks kind of cool, because, like, you can't see the black in his eyes, what were you talking about, wow, I totally forgot, oh, the hyojong, <clears throat> the facial expressions, um oh yeah he did that and then it was that was very upsetting when there was a close-up and he looked directly into the camera and that phase it was it was very the young the, why do i keep the acting was very good and it also happens you know like a cut scenes with pomgyu with evidence of domestic violence on his face so he's being abused by his guardian i don't know if that's like his father or his uncle or something but his guardian that is very that is very upsetting um we'll talk more about this after we watch this because there are some things that i noticed that i think it's important to know in terms of the overlap between storylines probably need to write that down hang on i'll, I'll write it down so before i forget Yeah, this is gonna be very upsetting. Wow. Oh, and it coincides with these verse as well. Okay, there's an overlap. Pongyu's storyline is very upsetting for me. Okay. Okay, so they're crossing, crossing into that I mentioned Audriard Simulacra. Hmm. Let me just recover from that because I feel like I'm about to cry. That's yeah, very upsetting. Um, very effective. Um, K-pop narrative currently is undergoing an auto-fictionalization process. That auto simulacra, which is associated with the postmodern age, we are confronted with a procession of simulacra. I see so many separate what-if storylines, 
but the Yeonjun one overlaps with the real world. You're in a liminal space where you don't feel like you belong. And all of these elements work together to tell a multimodal, cohesive story. Which is classic in a relationship between parent culture and youth subculture, and which is another type of you. Over the shoulder shot in cinematography, it's supposed to convey the POV of the character whose shoulder over which we're watching the scene unfold. You can see this from Taeyeon's storyline when he high fived the skater girl. The characters are all given a choice to fight and hustle in like the effed up capitalist system or run away. But how do you escape from a world without ending your life? That's the question. Right? The idea of Sartre's shame, the concept of the look, when you're told you're bad, you believe that you're bad. That's how shame is supposed to work. So there's that disconnect that's very telling of his sociopathy in the capitalist system. Let's go, that's why this is really sad. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> that's actually a different Yeonjun from the white and self insert story Yeonjun who stole the money and hid from the police. Such intensity may be thrilling, but in the end, you'll just be left with hurt and regret and complex PTSD. I've been some Yeonjun stands in the comments section that haven't been very kind. I've already hidden those comments from the channel because I don't want any of you to have to see the, them and I don't want the comment section to be a negative space. I want my subscribers to feel safe. Anyway, so if you see any comments like that, just respond in a cool intellectual way and you know, explain to them the reality to them calmly. Sometimes it's like I wonder if they're watching the same videos as us because they would be insisting on a narrative that clearly doesn't exist. I said that he is a hard worker because he is. Right. There's a lot of pressure from fans on idols to have to like be this demigod figure who's talented at everything. Can't we just applaud hard work? I think that's more remarkable. Hard work is more remarkable. We shouldn't treat idols as gods, they're human beings. And it just becomes, it's a lot of pressure on idols, you know? You shouldn't do that. I don't think we should do that. While I have a lot of empathy towards young fans who feel passionately, I also empathize with these kids in, you know, these idols in the industry who have so many, so much expectations placed on them. And let's not, let's not put them on a pedestal because when you do that, it just burdens them for them to have to be perfect all the time, to have to, you know, get the dance exactly right after watching it one time, or you're pitting idols against each other in terms of, you know, oh, who does like a dance challenge better, or, you know, having to, holding someone untalented not being impressed just because you know they're a hard worker and don't get it from one go don't get it in one try so what if they didn't get it on the first try the point is that you don't give up right and you keep working hard in order to finally reach the point where you nail every beat which is why I decided to hide that comment from the channel and some of the other comments along those lines as well because I feel like I don't think it's a healthy mindset not healthy for the fan and also not healthy for the community not healthy for the fandom and I don't want to reproduce or perpetuate or be complicit in it as someone who used to work in the industry this is my opinion and I hope you would agree with me that you know idols are human beings fans are human beings we should not be placing unrealistic expectations on each other Korean subscribers, please tell me, are they insulting Kunde? R.I.P. No Rules is a boomer diss track. Um, it starts in a liminal space with a tow truck and then it ends in a liminal space because he's not gone to the dream world yet and the scene ends as he is crossing the border. I think that is significant to note. I was so inspired by one of the songs in the album that I ended up writing a response poem because the imagery in the lyrics were just so beautiful and so vivid. Spring cleaning. Can you guess which song I was responding to? Leave a guess in the comment below. To say I'm 